Hello! Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. So, patch 1.3 is out. In fact, uh, even the hotfix patch 1.3.1 repaired is out. Uh, so that means the Japanese campaign has ended. Uh, I got to 1944, I think. And then uh, with the new save system introduced in, uh, in 1.3, the binary save system, uh, which does improve performance, uh, the the old save uh, does not work anymore. That's uh, that's just how it is. So, what I will be doing, uh, I've still got a lot of videos uh, that I have recorded from the Japanese campaign uh, that will be uploaded over the next uh, next week. And then, I'm gonna start a new campaign. It's gonna be a German campaign, starting year 1910. In the meantime, that's uh, one week from now. I'm thinking of starting it uh, next Monday. In the meantime, uh, I will be waiting for the game to release a couple more uh, hotfix patches and stuff like that, which will probably happen. And also, I will be de be designing ships for the enemy nations using uh, shared designs. So the next campaign will have uh, shared designs enabled for the AI, so that the campaign is not just me uh, sinking endless waves of completely useless uh, trash ships. So, I've gotten most of the U.S. Navy designed from 1910 all the way to um, 1940. Most of it. I will have a shared design set at Selective, so the AI can still design their own ships if they have no... Uh, no suitable shared design to to use. Like for example, USA here. Uh, the only heavy cruiser hulls they have available in 1910 are these uh, uh, turds, which I've never been able to build anything really good on these hulls. Uh, and AI designs really not that much worse. So I'm just gonna let the AI take care of heavy cruisers for some of these nations for um, at least the first couple of years. Uh, Russia does have access to a decent uh, heavy cruiser hull, you can see here, very similar to the Kasuga class of the Japanese campaign. So yeah, some nations will lack proper heavy cruisers to begin with, some will not. Some nations, like, um, I haven't gotten to that yet. Let's find uh, France. Uh, probably only gonna design ships for the 1910s, maybe early 1920s. Same with Austria-Hungary. Because I just don't expect them to uh, to last that long. What usually happens with France and Austria-Hungary is they dissolve quite early on in a campaign. So I'm just gonna assume that happens again. But also, I will be setting up an, um, an email account where you can send me your shared designs that you have saved. Again, I will be playing as, uh, as Germany. But if you want to design some um, some ships for my enemies, uh, then please do. Something that's uh, fun and challenging to fight, uh, but not necessarily how I would build a ship. Maybe, or maybe you build ships the way same way I do. That it's uh, that's up to you if you want to do it. 
So, yeah. A week from now, Monday the uh, something of May. I don't have a calendar at hand, but uh, yeah, gonna be starting a German campaign. And uh, hopefully have some more challenging fights than I did as Japan. Also, uh, what I'm thinking of doing is uh, for the Japanese campaign, I I'm just gonna design more or no, for the Japanese nation, AI controlled nation, I'm just gonna design ships that are more or less like the ships I used when playing as Japan in that uh, campaign. So, yeah. I think it would be fun to fight kind of against my own ships. Anyway, I will be spending the next week designing shared designs. And if you want to send me your shared designs, then the email will be in the description below. And um, if you don't know where to find your uh, shared design files, uh, I will be including that also in the description. So yeah, that's it for now. See you in a week. Goodbye, and take care.